whosoever then first, after the traveling of the water, stepped in, was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Let's close our eyes and pray for the word of God. Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for your living word. As we have gathered here, open our hearts. I realized that there was a message that was always in my heart. And which is something that I'm going to share with you today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let the church say amen. 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 When I was reading my Bible, I was talking about a time where the grace of God was not too much. For you to be healed, you have to make a lie. I mean, you people these days, you are so very much privileged. You have got the servants of God everywhere. When you are sick, you come to us, we lay our hands on you. And the Holy Spirit heals you. At that time, people were suffering a lot. The Bible says the blind, those that could not walk, they were in, in one place looking for that grace of healing. After the angel turned the water, the one who's able to move will just move inside the well. But when you read it, it say there was a man that was very close to the water, to this way. But it was so difficult for him to move inside. And this man, I believe, there's something that you know I was thinking that if I move to a town, within 10 years I'll be having friends. I'll be having people that I call neighbors. Yeah. I mean, this man was there for 38 years. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there was someone that could say, hey, my brother, come here, let me push you inside. <laughs> but my brother is telling me that it never happened. They were just passing him, go inside, passing him, go inside. He was there for 38 years. Failing just to move a small inch. Can I tell you the reason why? Mm. Can I tell you? Yes. It's because his time was not yet there. Amen. His time was not yet arrived. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. So now, what I'm trying to say is, as I was talking about to move into a town, making friends, I mean, this was showing that your life, it's a journey with Christ. Your neighbors are not there to direct your life. Amen. Your friends must not be there to give you a direction. Right. You people of America must be very much happy because yes. when you are hearing the sound of my voice today, I want to tell you there's no more waiting. Yeah. God is going to do it. Are you hearing me? Because the Lord that we are praying unto is here today. There are so many voices that we can listen out to. But when Jesus Christ speaks, protocols must be broken. Amen. Religion must be broken. You know, you know, you know, even in life, we have, got, we have got some certain methods that we use to live and say, this is how we live. But when Jesus Christ comes, He's not going to tell you and say, go inside the water. He will ask you a very simple question, what do you want? Yes. Meaning a way of doing things must be broken. Yes. So now the Bible says, when Jesus Christ saw the man, he said, what do you want? Can we read? Yes. Let's read. An infinity, 38 years. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. 
he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? The important man answered him, Say, I have no man. When the water is troubled to put me into the pool, but I am coming, another step it down before me. Amen. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and go away. Yes. There's no struggle. Yes. Amen. There are some certain things when you've got the Holy Spirit you can't struggle about. Amen. And if people are using a, 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 a long road, when Jesus Christ comes, there will be a shortcut. <laughs> because this man, he was talking about there are people every time when the well is being stirred up. When I'm trying to, you know, to lift up my body, someone will be in, in, right. be inside already. Yes. But he was waiting for a time of a spoken word. So today, I want to give you my weight. Amen. That that disease that has been troubling you must go away in Jesus' name. Amen. That infirmity must leave your family. Amen. That poverty must leave your house. Amen. That struggle must leave your children. Amen. We greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Do you love Cheris TV? By God's grace, Cheris Missionary Church is moving. From the tent of God's glory. No one will fail again. Amen. I say you will never fail again. No. Watch, watch everywhere. Look what is happening there. Karabaya Batia! Suterebaya Yakashi Taraba! Situation is from the anointed grounds. God has answered your prayers. And now, we need to move from here. If you look around here, some people cannot come to church now because their cars are not safe. Especially people are watching us, if people are watching us, they've got a lot of money there. God has touched you to give us money to build. So whoever partake of this building that we want to build, we have found the land. We have found what? And the land is good. Has God touched your heart to help build the Church of Jesus Christ? Give with confidence at Cheris USA Branch. PayPal.me slash Cheris USA Branch. Or visit our website at CherisMissionaryChurch.net and ask how you can be a part.